New sequence. In my dream, I was a flower. My petals swaying in the wind. My leaves shaking. I bask in the sunlight. The sun high in the sky. The warmth feels so good. The flower growing next to me looks comfortable as well. There is nothing up in the sky. No bugs, no birds, no humans. Nothing. When I look closer, I see that the sun is fake. So sad. The other flower shakes its stem. <laughs> How sad. I shake my stem in a nod. We at least have us. We both extend our roots to each other as hard as we can. So no matter how strong the wind may blow, it can never tear us apart. Chloe. <sighs> I hope you're closer. Huh? Chloe, open the closed door. Realize the truth about them. Closed door. The time is coming. Yes. Follow the thread that connects us. It is right in front of you. Okay. Is an no. arc sleeping? Uh, huh? What are you doing here? Oh, Chloe, you're back. Oh, I finally succeeded in reproducing sleep. Sleep is a conclusion of exhaustion, a simple thing, <laughs> but trying it opened my eyes. See, it, now that's no other that I know, not this vengeful <laughs> big. I've had a lot of mental exhaustion lately. Thanks to you. Sure. You went to see that meteora, didn't you? You went to that animal, in spite of the warning I gave you. It's my mission. You just give the meteora a dahlia if you were ordered to then? Something Coco really cherished. And you just handed it to the animal that killed her. It has nothing to do with you. What are you doing? Huh? Oh, <laughs> you don't have the right to enter the sunroom right now. You can't stop me. You don't even have a real body. That's right. I have nothing. Because I don't have a real body. These hands are imaginary. They can't grab hold of anything. They can't touch another person's hand or give water to my beloved Dahlia's. Noah? What? However, there's one thing I can do. It's get close to people. I can't just watch my buddy walk towards destruction. Destruction? What a dramatic choice of words. I'm just helping them study anima a little. Snap out of it! That's a beast! It's not Coco! It's not her! I can't believe you handed it the Dahlia. I bet Coco is really disappointed in you! What do you know about Coco? No, never mind. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Hmm. We're not hiding. You always do this. You try to stay in the past there. All alone, by yourself. I'm not running away. I mean... Are you crying? Tears are the conclusion of sorrow. I've been made aware of that. This is your fault for being so difficult. <sighs> what? Why? Promise me you'll never hurt yourself again like this. Huh? Chloe, you're answering my question today. Why do you care so much about Adama? I'll speak with her. Let's talk in the sunroom. Oh. <laughs> the, the sunroom? You're going to let me inside? You don't have to come in if you don't want to. No! I want to go in, obviously. But... What's gotten into you, Chloe? Why are you being so nice? <laughs> Is this a sign of an upcoming disaster? Is there a hailstorm approaching? No, never mind that. <laughs> You're coming up. So, it's just as I thought. You were the one that made it so I couldn't go inside the sunroom. And I told you it wasn't me. I still don't know why the sunroom won't let you in. Wait, we want to go now in, so... You don't know? Then that means I still can't go in? Were you just teasing me then? Calm down. I don't know the principle. 
but I know the cause. You were able to come inside the sunroom the first time you appeared here. Mm. Yet you were unable to come back in after I threw you out. Oh, that's right. I remember you yelled at me. Get out, you fake Coco. That's probably the reason why. Huh? What do you mean? You're free-spirited, but you're sensitive to people's words and emotions. You were newly born, and I yelled at you to get out. I think somewhere deep inside your programming, you subconsciously believed that you weren't allowed inside the sunroom. In which case, show me your hand, Noah. Huh? Mm. Oh! Goes without saying, but there's no sensation here. Obviously. I'm just an avatar. Still, Chloe. I may not have an actual body, but... You're made from love more real than anything? Then you should spread that love to the Dahlias. Hmm, that's some sudden it change of pace. Worked. I'm inside the sunroom! I'm inside the sunroom now! <laughs> Dahlias! <laughs> They're so nostalgic! Ooh! This vibrant red is what makes the real thing so valuable! It's so cute! You guys are so cute! Okay. I'll sing you a song. Hmm. Every time I stop pushing Anima and Noah away and get closer, they undergo a dramatic change. Just how far could Coco see into the future? I didn't know you liked Dahlias so much. I love Dahlias. As much as I love singing. Really? I am an arc based on Coco. So I've inherited her likes. Just like these eyes. Uh. Are you going to run away from me again? I thought you wanted to talk to me about something here. Yes. Speak about Coco, I think, right? I don't think Anima is gonna be anything changing. I'll speak about Coco. I wanted to talk to you about Coco, but when I looked into your eyes... Running away... She's right. I push away those who resemble Coco, even though she's the one I'm seeking. Do I want to run away from Coco? No. I'm sure that's not it. You're right. Maybe I am running away. But I'm not running away from you. I'm not running away from Coco's appearance, either. Then what are you running from, Chloe? <sighs> I don't know. I WISH I NEVER MET YOU! I once said something awful to Coco, in the heat of the moment, right here. Coco died soon after that. She went out to the surface and was eaten by the Meteora. Oh. I'm probably running away from the words I said that day. I'm running because I can't forgive myself, but I want to be forgiven. That's why I might care about Anima so much. I want the Coco who might be inside Anima to forgive me. Mm. But, Chloe, like I said before, that's just a meteor that copied Coco. Treating Anima like Coco is an insult to the original. While I have been wondering whether Anima is Coco or a Meteora this whole time, now I'm more interested in the mysteries that bind us. I want to solve the mysteries around you and Anima since Coco's death. Mm. Mysteries? I'm involved in those? Ever since Coco died on the surface, the world's gone through several dramatic transformations. First is your appearance, Noah. Uh... When you first appeared in the city, looking like Coco, the people remembered Song. Around the same time you emerged, I started fighting in real battles as a pilot. Since I started going out to the surface, the number of meteoras that appeared increased. Another change since Coco's death would be Patroclus. I heard that this <laughs> resistance movement transformed around two years ago. Don't look away. Don't be tricked by shallow fakes. Look deeper to find the truth. Recently, they started to say things Coco used to say. Coco, Noah, me, Patroclus, and finally, Anima. The humanoid meteora that has Coco's appearance, memories, and personality. 
If we connect these mysteries, it might lead us back to a common thread. If we follow this thread, I... Uh -uh. Thread delivers our voice. Yes. A bond can't be severed. Each leads the other until you arrive at the correct answer. Chloe? What's the matter? You just fell silent. I feel like I've been guided this whole time. When I can't make important decisions, I hear her voice gently guiding me. I don't know what lies ahead of us, but if it's Coco's wish to follow this thread, then... Calm down, Chloe. Hearing the voice of the dead is just wishful thinking. Uh, uh, or maybe not. What is it? No, it's nothing. Anyway, this is what you should do. Accept Coco's death, and acknowledge that Anima is a meteora that copied Coco. Then, you exterminate it. You should abandon your conspiracies and your wishes. It'll lead you to your destruction. That's a meteora. A meteora who hurt you. Yes, Anima is a meteora. I can't deny that. But that might not be all that there is to it. I'm sure that any life form has multiple facets. Especially when it comes to people. Noah, even you? What is it? Why did you fall silent? My multiple facets? Oh, like my musical career? No. Noah is way different in battle. I agree actually that without that. But I don't know what's Noah's secret. Like what what does that mean? I'll do that. No. Something completely different. What is it? What's with all the ambiguity, Chloe? That reminds me, Noah. There's a secret you've been keeping from us. Uh... <laughs> I've had my suspicions. Ooh. The masked individual appeared yes. two years ago with the resistance group Patroclus. That was around the same time you appeared. That mysterious individual took the relatively peaceful Patroclus organization and transformed it into a powerful terrorist organization skilled in electronic <laughs> warfare. They provoked the people in the city, creating instant chaos. They are a brilliant agitator. There can't be two people like that in this city. I thought you were similar. Not the voice, but the background and mm -hmm. mannerisms. The way you captured people's hearts. Mm. Noah. Noah, come on. Stop keeping secrets. We're buddies. I never meant to act out of evil. The digital doll, Ark Noah, is meant to be there for the people, to draw close to them. So I must draw closer to their darker facets as well, so that those who don't fit into society aren't lost. That's why. Noah, it was for me, wasn't it? Uh. You can clearly see if you look at Patroclus's tenets. You were always a warrior. I knew it. Yes, I think both sides make up who you are. Neither is your true nature. That's why I want you to look at Anima before passing your judgment. Is it just a meteora? Or does it have the key to unlocking these mysteries inside? <sighs> Fine. I'll take a look at it. I'll disprove the ridiculous idea that Coco could ever be inside that animal. Huh? Come on, let's get a move on. It's interesting. Now to think of it, no one never was in person with Anima. Hmm? Why do you know this song? This was Coco's last. This voice I thought I'd never hear again forces my memories to the surface. I begin to remember that day. Coco's first and only concert. She had a concert. Coco is singing outside of the sunroom and in front of people. People stop in the middle of the street, focusing their eyes and ears. Singing. <laughs> this fucking whole setup. <laughs> I've never seen anyone sing before. Another day, it's so beautiful. You want 
to hold a concert? A yes. I want to sing in front of everyone. Right to tell the sing world. where, though? The anywhere. As long as it's somewhere, a lot of people can hear me sing. Are you not happy having me as your only audience member? No, that's not it at all. I love singing for you. Then you can sing here. I'm not unhappy, but it's not enough. You should sow your seeds far and wide. Yes, I'm going to break the cycle. Coco? I just want to sing. Please, Chloe, understand how I feel. Okay. Hmm. Huh? Hello, Chloe. I'm Alba. I'm a Prometheus cadet, just like you. Coco and I used to play together when we were young, because our parents are friends. What is this? Just as you heard, I asked Alba to help put on the concert. <laughs> we don't need help. Oh, he's playing the piano. Oh my god. <laughs> we can't do it. Just the two of us. <sighs> Did you know Alba can play the piano? Yeah. Isn't that great? Also, you brought a friend as well? Yeah, I'm Yamato. I'm a Prometheus cadet, just like Chloe and Alba. Chloe and me? We've always been rivals. We're always competing for first and second place in our training drills. Right, Chloe? Who even are you? <laughs> Savage. Wait, should I not have come? Sorry. I just tagged along without asking. I'll leave. No, you can be here too, Alba and Yamato. Thank you for coming. You are both welcome here. Take good care of Chloe for me. Hmm. A thousand stars you see shining so bright to tell the world. Everybody would stop to listen to Coco's voice. Coco was like a goddess singing on stage. What? Thank you for listening to me sing. <laughs> I hope you remember this moment forever. Not as a data log, but a memory inside your hearts. As long as you remember, I'm sure the city will be filled with even more wonderful songs. Mm. Chloe, you were crying from the very start, weren't you? You're such a crybaby. <laughs> I wasn't crying. Don't lie. I may not be able to see, but I have very good ears, Chloe. I will always be able to hear you crying, no matter where you are. <laughs> it's so nice, receiving so much applause. All these warm sentiments. Ah, uh, I'm so glad. To the person I haven't met yet, was I able to alleviate some of your pain? Who was the person that gave her ribbon? That's still a mystery. If I was, please. If Coco already knew something at that point, then why did she... If I'm going to die, I'd rather die by Chloe's hand. <sighs> that had a lot of similarities to Coco's logged songs. It seems to have inherited more of Coco's thoughts and memories than I anticipated. Probably a feat it could achieve because it consumed and absorbed Coco. It might be hard, but you have to look straight at it, Chloe. Coco has been consumed by anima. Meteora. Singing. Seeing Anima sing. Its appearance somehow overlapped with my memories of that day. Coco was singing to the Meteora then. Song can reach anyone. It goes beyond species. It's universal. Chloe! Now's not the time to space out! Is there more that's on your mind? Seems like it. 
Oh, sink, yeah. Noah, would you sing with Anima? <laughs> you want me to sing with this beast? <laughs> Noah. You're joking. I'm not making light of your songs. Think. Someone who can sing is in front of this meteora. That can't be a coincidence. I want to know why Coco sang in front of the meteora right before she died. You're the only one I can turn to. You sound just like her when you sing. Uh, I'm not happy about this, but just this once. Judy? I was wondering what you idiots were doing. <laughs> Looks like you sorted everything out. Huh? What are you so startled for? There is no way the Professor Julie would let such an interesting development slip by her. Get yourself ready, Noah. The bigger the audience, the better. <laughs> right. We're really doing this, Chloe? I guess. Please, Noah. Just this once. This is to open your eyes. I'll sing just one song. Mm -hmm. If you sing with me, you can't hide anything. Not the murderous intent you're hiding, nothing. Songs reveal all. Everything comes out in your voice. Noah, the highly intelligent arc. <laughs> Tito. Emma, the powerful physical specimen. They both originate from Coco Kokonoe, yet they are wildly different beings. The end of evolution and the being of the end. Just how close can their songs bring them together? Very fascinating. <laughs> now then, begin. Try to do what I do and sing. Don't go off pitch. Here goes. In every darkest night, oh, I say, come on, close your eyes, it'll be alright. What's happening? What is the sound? I'll be here when you didn't meet the most. Recording even a shared illusion, I see. Quite the diligent archivist. Or should I say, Inquisitor? Inquisitor? Stay strong and start to ride we can't to simply ride. say Noah does not exist based on the mere fact that she is an avatar. Mm -hmm. With everybody acknowledging her, she very much exists in the world. <laughs> uh. What? What was that? Oh, it can't be. <sighs> oh, I see. So that's how it is. You're just supposed to be a mechanism, but I see. All this time must have been so painful for you. Understand. I can feel your thoughts, your pain, our destination. <laughs> this is great! The unexpected. That's the real fun in science. Mm, but perhaps this was a touch too unexpected. What was that light, that resonance? And what was that ferocious cry? Do you know anything, Dieter? No, nothing. I'm not a scientist. Sure. <laughs> I want to know what you have your eyes on. What are you looking at, Dieter? Nothing. As the general, the only thing I see is where the compass points. 
Though I chance to imagine the new world we will arrive at from time to time. Mm -hmm. I see. Mm -hmm. Well, don't fantasize too much. I might leave you blind. <laughs> Thank you for your warning. <gasps> You're living. Noah no longer looked at Anima with contempt. Instead, her eyes were filled with pity. I think we're actually going by the right, right path. <laughs> I fucking hope so.